In this problem, we have a square inscribed inside of a square. And the side length of the larger square on the outside is 20 inches. With that information, what is the area of the shaded region? So the area of the shaded region, actually, before we begin, you know, feel free to pause the video if you want to try this. To calculate the area of the shaded region, we need to take the area of the large triangle, I mean the large square rather, and subtract it by the area of the smaller square on the inside, which kind of looks like a rhombus, but it's a square since all the sides are going to be the same, and the angles are the same as well. So it's going to be the area of the larger square minus the area of the smaller square. Well, we know the side length of the larger square. It's 20. And the area of a square is side squared. It's s times s. So the area of the larger square is going to be 20 squared. Now, what we need to do is find the side length of the smaller square, because if we could do that, we can calculate its area. So how can we find x, the side length of just one side of the inner square? How can we do that? What do you recommend that we should do? One thing that we need to realize is that this point here is the midpoint of that line segment. And we know that line segment is equal to 20. The midpoint separates or basically breaks apart a segment into two equal parts. So this part here has to be half of 20, which is 10. And that means that the other side is also 10. So what we have now is a right triangle where this side is 10 and the other side is 10. And so one way in which we could solve this is we could use the Pythagorean theorem. There's also another way if you know your special right triangles, but we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem for this example. And so it's a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. In this example, a and b are the legs of the triangle. c is the hypotenuse. So a and b are both equal to 10. We can replace c with x. 10 squared or 10 times 10, that's 100. So we have 100 plus 100, which is equal to x squared. And then 100 plus 100 is 200. So 200 is equal to x squared. Now, what do we need to do next here? What is the value of x? In order to change x squared into x, we need to take the square root of both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and that's equal to the square root of 200. Now, we need to simplify the square root of 200. How can we do that? 200 is 2 times 100. Now, 2 is not a perfect square, but 100 is. The square root of 100 is 10. So x is equal to 10 root 2. So now that we have the value of x, we can now calculate the area of the smaller square. And so it's going to be s squared, or 10 root 2 squared. 20 squared is just 20 times 20. 10 root 2 squared is 10 root 2 times 10 root 2. Now, 20 times 20, we know 2 times 2 is 4, and then all you need to do is just rewrite the two zeros. Next, we have 10 times 10, which is 100, and then the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. That's the square root of 4, which simplifies to, this, to 2. And 100 times 2 is 200. And then 400 minus 200 is 200. So this is the area of the shaded region. It's equal to 200 
And then we need to talk about the units. When dealing with area, it's always square units. So it's going to be 200 square inches. That is the area of the shaded region. So that's how you could find it. You simply take the area of the larger object and subtract it by the area of the smaller object, and that will give you the area in between.